Yo, what's up guys? Today we are going to work on this problem on code words, maximum subarray sum. Um, so this problem consists um, in finding the maximum sum of a contiguous subsequence in an array or a list of integer. So for example, if we have this list, this list here, the function would go through the list and find this subarray um, that has the largest sum. I so I, I think this problem will require uh, us to use a nested loop um, and um, the the uh, first iteration would go through each item in the list and then inside that uh, inside that iteration um, there will be another loop that uh, sum uh, each of these items together uh, and it will just take uh, the sum and will go all the way until the end of the list so if you can imagine like say for the first uh, iteration uh, let's say we picked um, minus two as the first item, and then in uh, inside that it, uh, that iteration, we will go through like summing minus two, some uh, plus one, minus two plus one plus minus three, uh, and then etc. All the way until the end, and then the second main iteration we would start from one, and then would do the same again all the way until the end then the third one we do the same until the fourth one we do the same and then we get the maximum sum so we get this sum right here and then um, that would be our result so um, this we will have our first loop here for i in um, in the range length of array so this will iterate and to the list and then we will have a nested loop for j in range uh, length array as well and this we will start from i because if we we'll start here uh, let's say start from minus three. We don't need to um, the start position do, doesn't need to be from minus two, right? Because we already did that uh, in the previous iteration, so we only have to go this way. Um, so we will start from i to the length of array, and then we will do a sum sum of array and this is i from i to j okay um so however uh since the slice doesn't include the last um the last item uh, of the list we have to add one to j i think uh, because uh, length say for example the list here has the length of nine so the uh, range function would um, go from zero to eight right and then the sum if we if we don't use um, like let's say if just use j j also go from 0 to 8 and then sum of 0 to 8 it will only sum the uh, like it would not include the eighth position we can we can do a test here right for uh, j in range of length r Mm. 
print j oh t so j only from eight and if we do some uh so the last position is eight and if we do a sum of uh, i to j j only j stop at eight and the sum only uh is it exclude the eighth item in the list so which is why we have to do sum from j plus one so it will be sum from zero to eight plus one is nine and it that way it will include the eighth uh, item in this list I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, and then let's let's try right? sum of zero j oh t and then so it will only output you output nine. Yeah, so this will work, I think. Plus one. Yeah, okay, so that works. Um, and then uh, we need to uh, we need to create an empty list uh, and then just append the sum result in each um, iteration of the loop to the sum uh, to the list and then we will return max of l okay uh, so now let's test mass sequence to t you will return six so uh yes so let's let's test this on our uh, our code works oh what's wrong here empty sequence oh okay uh so i guess um because the empty list we have to take into account of empty list um right if r length r is not zero else we will just if length uh, length of array is equal to zero we return zero i guess mm, minus one okay so it also should it also okay because the list also need to take into account of negative number if so let's say this will the greater than zero i guess yeah so that should work what mm. return mass if uh, zero Max L, or we do another max here. Okay, so that works. <laughs> That's kind of very, very. So I have to take the max of uh, max L and zero because what if max uh maximum of l is a negative number then we will take zero um and if uh the input array is an m is empty it will return zero as well so we have to take that into account <laughs> as well okay so that's this is my solution thanks for watching